Hey guys, how you guys doing out there? Um, I'm trying to remember why I'm doing this, you know, why I'm pressing forward and I guess I've lost motivation and I'm trying to re-motivate myself. Um, But, you know, I get kind of lost. Um, and I, I, I don't know if that's normal for the scapegoat to feel, the former scapegoat um, to feel lost as they go out and on their own. Um, but I, I think it's probably normal because it's all new territory for the, uh, scapegoat child uh, to go off and separate and go on a whole new path you know that they've never even experienced before or even knew was there um, yeah like I didn't think there was a path like this that I'm on so far um but I will say w one thing, it's it's a freaking hard road. <laughs> it's a very hard road. Um, harder than I ever would have thought it was going to be. But, you know, I got to remember that in injustice was done to me, you know, it, that's, that's what I got to remember is th there was injustice ag against me. And so I have the right to continue on in life, you know, um, despite that, you know, and I just got to figure out how to do that, <laughs> live a life, you know, um, that I think is worth living, you know, um. Do I think my life purpose is to warn people about these entities out here um, that are targeting and destroying people? I don't. I don't know if that's my purpose or not. Um, I mean, I could, but there's plenty of survivors that do that already. You know, so I'm not sure that's my. That doesn't feel like that's my purpose. But finding my my actual purpose has not been easy. Um, at all. It's more than just staying alive. It's more than just being a good person. It's more than just all those things, you know. Um, so it's been hard to figure it out <laughs> what the purpose is. You know, I, I feel like I've lived a long time and but apparently I haven't completed what I'm supposed to complete here on the planet you know and do what I haven't done what I'm supposed to do on the planet um uh, you know I feel like I've done it a lot but you know apparently it's not what I'm here for so figuring out what what I'm here for still is um still a daily challenge to figure out um but i don't know i mean i tried the religion route and that didn't work for me you know so i can't do the religion route you know um that's yeah it's finding my purpose um I know some people find purpose in the religion ro road, um, but I, I, I didn't find it myself. Um, but I don't know. The metaphysical world kind of makes sense in, in some ways, you know, but sometimes even then I'm like, I feel lost in the metaphysical world arena also.
so I don't feel like I belong anywhere as far as groups go. Um, but it is it is tough to fly solo though. You know, it's it's really tough to fly totally solo, and I try not to fly totally solo. I I found some good people and some good um, support groups. Um, to help me on my path, on my journey. So I have found those things, um, or the universe has found those things for me. Um, so, I don't know. I don't get why happiness is so hard to fit, find or figure out. or I don't know. Some people have figured it out, you know. But the ones that have figured it out, I don't think they're targeted people. You know, I don't feel like they're empaths that have been targeted throughout their lives, you know. So they, they kind of are free from that, you know. That targeting part of life, you know. It's kind of hard to live a happy life when you're you've been targeted in your life, you know, by different people um, throughout your life. Um, and I admit, my mind still struggles with the, with everything that went down, everything that happened, you know, I've, I've tried my best to overcome it, but I'm doing, I'm doing my best, and that's what I can say. That's what I can really say is I'm, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing the best I know how. I'm doing the best without someone teaching me how to do things, you know. So, anyways, that's all I want to say for this video. I just kind of wanted to talk some more. Um... But, yeah, it's a good outlet sometimes just to talk um, on a video um, because you don't always have like a, <laughs> you don't always have a counselor with you, you know, 24-7, you don't, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes you struggle because you don't have that, you don't have a constant person with you to talk to, you know what I'm saying? I guess that's what I'm getting at. You don't have that person, you that listening ear that you need um, to help you make sense of things, to help me you make sense of what happened, things that happened, and why they were allowed to happen. And I don't know. I guess that's a big thing for me. Is like, why was such such things allowed to happen? What was I supposed to learn from that? Um, was I supposed to learn that this evil exists at a very young age? Was that was that the point to to show me fairly young um, or something of this evil that exists on the planet? And I call I call it evil, you know. I don't know how else you would define it besides what, what they do or what you went through. Um, I, I consider it evil if there is such a definition. Because um, it's, you know, it's, it's abuse on every, it's abuse, you know, so. Abuse is abuse, and so it's not right. So, but at the same time, I got to make sure I don't turn into one of them, you know what I mean? And, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I don't know. So, I, I, I can see how a survivor could be pretty bitter and, you know have a bitter, bitter outlook, you know, in life, 
and it's hard to overcome that bitterness um, for sure but I don't know people keep telling me that things are going to work out but I'm not sure how they're going to work out you know I have no idea how they're going to work out this time around. At this point in my life, I'm not sure how they're going to work out. How things are going to work out. So I'm kind of in a jam in a way. I'm kind of in a little bit of a jam. But I got to go.